when you talk about history, we were one of the smaller producers, um, really for, for many, many years. Milwaukee was like one of the powerhouses of industry. My grandfather had worked for a few other tanneries in Milwaukee here and had made enough money to buy into a small tannery, which uh, he did. He ran the business for about two years. My father said the first year of operation, he ended up losing half of his net worth. You know, there were a lot of operators here. Right in the Milwaukee area, the competition was fierce. It's a bit of a duty that you have to have. You know, I was born into the family, and um, could we have let it go like a lot of other tanneries? I think you probably could have. He was able to, to keep the operation going and started hiring the right people. And it, and it takes people to, to put an organization like this together. You've got to have people in many different areas that know how to do the right thing. As I say, you don't have to be perfect at it, but you got to be good. What's old is new and what's new is old. Um, you know, that's where I'd put the double shot. You know, double shot is really a, a throwback of product that was made back in the, probably the 30s and the 40s. And those are, those are challenging leathers to make today. It's about, you know, what are the things that you do to it to make it that critically that nice product that, you know, makes the, the boot what it is or the leather what it is. It's like making a good Merlot wine. You open that bottle up too early and it's like, pff, no good. You leave it too late, it tastes like vinegar. You know, it's got to be just right. I mean, I, I am really proud to be a, a third generation doing it. And my son's in, he'll be a fourth. And, you know, hopefully we can pass it on and, and have it go for another generation. And hopefully it goes on for another generation beyond then.